plaintiff and magician Murray Sawchuck says the defendant bent 13 rare antique spoons at a party with his mind. The problem is they are part of his prized memorabilia collection and now they're all worthless. He's suing for $5,000. Defendant Alan New says all the plaintiff's party guests were testing their talents and he got carried away in the energy of the moment. He knows the plaintiff is bent out of shape, but he's not paying for the damaged dinnerware. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Thank you. All rise. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Najee. It's case number 182 on the docket. Sawchuck versus New. Murray, you are suing a law? Yeah, I'm a uh, magician. You're a magician. An illusionist yes. out of Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, also a magic historian. I collect a lot of things. Uh, yes. I headline at the Tropicana Hotel and Casino. I also... Oh, great. The show Pawn Stars. I'm a magic expert on that yes. show. Yeah. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And now why are you suing him? Well, uh, I am gonna, I'm suing him for a couple of reasons, but mainly one reason, because we're both in the business together. We're both, yeah. uh, he's a mentalist and I'm yeah. a magician. Um, if you'd like, I can demonstrate my magic for you if you'd like. Sure, go ahead. Like yeah, yeah. Let me see Sir? some of your magic. Sure. I, on the way in here, I stopped at one of the local markets downtown. I bought some peppers, real healthy, random yes. peppers. Yes. Because so I got a red and I got a green and a yellow. Which pepper would you like? I want to give you a pepper. I'll take the red. Uh, Najee, can you help me? He chose the red one, so just put the red one just on the front of your, uh, your stand Bench. there, sir. Yeah. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Najee. All right, perfect. And I have a deck of cards. They're casino cards, so the corns are cut off. That's so you can't go back in the casino and, and cheat, just like that. Yeah. They do that in all casino cards after they've used them. So the regular cards, as you can see. Have you ever helped a magician before, sir? I can't say that I have. Okay, I'd like you to pick a card. Can I have you pick a card or Najee pick a card, whatever you'd like? Najee pick a card. I'm going to go like this, and you say stop whenever you would like, Najee. All right. Cool? All right, sir. Stop. Not there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally <laughs> kidding. Take the card, sir. This is for Jerry. Show Jerry. Show the, uh, the courthouse people behind us. I see show that. Remember, yes. the idea is for me not to see it, so make okay. sure they see it behind me as well. Okay, Everyone you can it. show it to everyone there. Right. Also, I have a pen. I'm going to have you sign the card for me, Jerry. Uh, have him sign the face of the card. Your full name, please, sir. He just wants your autograph. Exactly. Right? And you're... <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell Povich? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, sir, say stop whenever you wish. Stop. All right. Place the card down, Najee. Perfect. Now, you've identified your card, obviously. Yes. yes. You've written on it, so it's the only one that's here. Oh, you are correct, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to cut the cards a few times, just like yes. so. All right. And... Uh, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to figure out what card you chose by either you or Najee holding the pepper. I'm going to throw the cards at the pepper. And one of the cards will stick inside the pepper. I should hold the pepper. If you'd like to, but maybe Najee should hold it. So I'm going to throw the cards towards the pepper, and I don't want to hit you with the cards. Yeah, so. better to hit him. Exactly. I want to start <laughs> off. I want to start off in the case with a good foot. Would you mind holding yeah. the pepper, sir? All right. Yeah. <laughs> and can you come here and hold the pepper out? All right, watch very carefully. Here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, that would have been a good trick, though, huh? <laughs> that would have been really good if it just... I've been working on it for... What was your card, by the way? A three of spades. Three of spades. You know it's a three of spades, right? You signed yes. it. Najee, do you mind cracking your fingers into the middle of the pepper? Oh. And opening it up. Open it up, open it up. And pull out what's inside, sir. <laughs> Can you show the honor, uh, the judge? Wow. Is that your card? Oh, yeah. See, we can be like Penn and Teller, sir. We can go to yeah. Vegas, no? Yeah. So what is your lawsuit? That's a hell of a good question, sir. <laughs> I actually forgot. No. Uh, my, my lawsuit is I have a lot of collectibles at my home. I yes. had an engagement party with uh, my fiance. Uh, yes. We're getting married in September. And the engagement party is February 21st of this year. We had a bunch of friends over. We're entertainers in Las Vegas. My yes. fiance is a, a showgirl in Las Vegas. Yes. And uh, so we have a lot of entertainer friends, and Elan is one of our friends, and friends probably yes. over for 20 years, I guess, colleagues in the business. So yes. he was there. Uh, I collect a, a lot of Hollywood memorabilia. I have stuff from Debbie Reynolds and Phyllis Diller and, oh, and yeah. all sorts of things. Yes. So I also have a collection of spoons and forks and silverware, uh, which is... From these hotels. From these hotels. No it's ir exist. irreplaceable, yeah. yeah. And there's one of everything. I actually have them right here. These are them. And uh, I had 15 of these that were in perfect condition. 
Yeah. And now I only have two of them that are in perfect condition, and um, and now the rest are all bent because of uh, of this man right here. What did he do? Well, his specialty is mentalism and spoon bending. That's what he's known for around the world. And he came to my house for uh, the party, like everyone else did. Yeah. And as entertainers, we all like to show off a little bit. We all like sure. the attention. And so um, he uh, he decided with my collection. Maybe he didn't realize the worth of them because I have everything out in my home that you know that I yeah. I share uh, that uh, they're worth a lot of money. And so this is what happened. So with, he bent with the, those valuable spoons. Too. Yeah, they're all yeah. different shapes and sizes. I can. Just, Show you okay, more. you want him to pay? These are worth a lot of money, and they're obviously, even if you were to try to rebend these back, they're not going to look like they used to be. To get these even back to normal, I think it would be impossible. Okay, now I come to you. If you can bend those spoons as a mentalist, why can't you bend the back? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. Well, yes. uh, f well, first of all, I didn't bend those spoons. I oh. bent one spoon at his party. You know, he has a lot of friends who are entertainers and showgirls, and, uh, and, and everybody does like a little bit. Um, I don't even think he saw me bend the spoon at his party. Yeah. And uh, How did you do that? I was asked by uh, one of his uh, uh, friends to you know, show them what I do, and uh, and so I. I can you believe can you show us now? I mean, I'm really interested in seeing how you can bend a spoon, mentally. Uh, happen to have one right here. There's a spoon. Um, did yeah, you want to yeah. show it to Judge Jerry so he sees that indeed it is a. Uh, it's a normal spoon. Yeah. It's a solid spoon, right? So yeah. now there's several different ways of actually bending, you know, a spoon. You can actually bend it with physical sure. strength. You can actually create the illusion of the spoon bending by, uh, by kind of waving it yeah. around in this manner. But uh, the way in which I do it is actually to create the most amount of energy with a minimal amount of effort. Uh, the Chinese call it Qigong. It basically looks like this. See, Your Honor, nothing safe around that guy. It's very annoying. <laughs> it's just what I do. I mean, basically, so, I mean, I was brought to Las Vegas in order, to, right. in order to show people that this is possible. You know, you basically just create the most amount of energy with just a little bit of uh, effort, and the, the spoon actually continues to bend. And the weird thing is, is that as it continues to bend, sometimes strange things will happen in which the spoon actually does kind of a... Uh, affect other spoons around it. And ever since I started doing it, I started realizing that there are, you know, even in my show in Las Vegas, spoons do bend spontaneously at the tables. And I'm not saying that, uh, that anyone was trying to frame me because those spoons that uh, Murray, I, I saw the evidence and those spoons do look very much like the spoons Your that Honor, I- Your Honor, it's very annoying. Magic or illusion, it's either perspective, yeah. uh, it's illusion, uh, or it's reality. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's seeing is believing, or is it not, right? So I have my wallet here, and it's uh, got a hundred dollar bill in it, yeah. like so. There's more in mine. <laughs> and you know what, I believe that. I actually believe that. I'm gonna keep this here, all right? And I got a hundred dollar bill. Of course, I have my watch, which is an antique watch my father gave me years ago. Oh, that's very nice. You know, it's a nice watch, you have good memory. Yeah. Also, I have an envelope uh, that I'm gonna put this stuff in, just like so. And if you have, you've never helped a magician before, ever though, except for this time right now, though. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna actually open up the envelope, just like this, just like that. I'm gonna actually take the stuff, like so, I'm gonna put it inside the envelope, right? Like that, I'm actually gonna take my ring, right here. Another heirloom, place that inside the envelope as well. And I'm gonna seal it up, just like this. Uh, do you ever mail stuff still, sir, or is it all email for you? No, I mail stuff. Still, okay, because most people forget about that now. I'm gonna seal it up like this. Now, if you watch carefully, it's perception, or it's illusion, or it's reality. Did I really do this or not? Yeah, you never put it in there. No. Did it go down your sleeve when you? No, no, see, because right now the $100 bill is back in my wallet, see? And the watch is back in my wrist, see? And the ring's back in my finger, just like that. Mm -hmm. So did it really happen, or was it an illusion? You're both very impressive. Got it, I understand why you'd be successful in Vegas. The fact is, you were at his house. You know you can do a trick to bend the spoons. Very impressive. But, but I'm not a vandal. The point is, you're at his house. Those were his spoons. If you're going to do a trick that you know will bend the spoon, the normal etiquette would be, 
hey, I want to do this trick. Can I use one of your spoons? So he might, in fact, give you an old spoon that isn't one of those valuable ones. Well, it in other words, why would you do something that you know is going to bend, this, bend it and alter it and maybe change its value? I was asked by one of his guests to actually bend the spoon, and, uh, and in doing so, I, I was, uh, I, I just... Uh, Okay, Went so she really didn't have the authority to do she that. She didn't have the authority necessarily, and, and I guess I didn't have the authority to, to go ahead and do it, but we were all in an energy in that moment. Everybody I was could having see a how good it time. happens. Everyone yeah. was showing each other different things. He has a lot of talented friends. I could see how it happens in the casual moment. And yeah. Why don't you show, him, why don't you show okay. him the light bulb thing? Here's you my question. Light bulb. You have one more trick you can this show is, This is the one that, this is very annoying. Here, why don't you... <laughs> No, show them the light bulb What's thing. Uh, well, I, I, the idea is that uh, basically, uh, with a just enough concentration, see, that's so annoying. Very that's good. A lot of energy. Your Honor, yeah. these are irreplaceable. <laughs> yeah. And it's destructive, and I'm glad he didn't stay at the house you, longer. I might have lost the whole damn house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's so well, annoying. let me say this to you. Not only are these spoons identifiable as from these old hotels, also they are the result of some magic that was performed on them. For all I know, you could sell them for even more than just if it was a regular spoon with a label of a hotel on it. Jerry, here's the situation. Well, and I love it, Len. He's phenomenal, but he's not Houdini. And if it was Houdini, and I have a picture of Houdini with these bent spoons, they would be worth ten thousand dollars each. It was Houdini. There is no actual proof that I don't. I don't think he well, had, even has okay. video you, evidence of me bending a single spoon. You have an appraisal. I have. I actually have a folder of various spoons that vary. Of various spoons. Do you have an appraisal of the specific spoons we're talking about? Yes, from I that do. Hotel. They're comparable to these spoons, one hundred percent. From that hotel, same hotel. I have uh, uh, various ones that are currently for sale. Online that have value. From which hotel? These actually are from Tiffany and Company. It's even better than that hotel. Well, yes. Yeah. Like, I'm not <laughs> arguing that there aren't some very. But there's even more money than what I'm asking. For. I'm asking you for the ones that those are values of spoons that are also very valuable. But I have but one. But they're not I... comparable to. I want to know if you have any appraisal of what a spoon from those specific hotels that you're talking about, the spoons you have, if you have an appraisal for what they're worth. This one's from a hotel Mont building, which is a souvenir spoon from Washington, D.C. So it's a hotel. I but have it's this Washington, one. Washington, D.C. This one's from London. It's from 16, <laughs> now look, this is from 1690. This is even okay. close to this. 1690, the dunes came after the Second World War. The only thing in Vegas was a river, yes. Jerry, the reason I'm saying I don't know that they're comparable, no, no, the because they're not from the set, those hotels. If you showed me a spoon from the same hotels you're talking about, that's the only thing that is going to convince me what that spoon is worth. That's why I If can't. you show me a spoon from another hotel, yes. it doesn't mean anything, because that hotel may not have the same memories. Of course, well, but the problem is they're so rare, it's hard to find. I didn't nobody else say that's it's the easy, but you're yeah. the one bringing the suit. But anytime I look at something, when I look at something that's old, especially on with Pawn Stars, yeah. if there's something not equal to it or exact, we look something comparable. Therefore, I can I find know. a price. What specifically were these spoons from? Uh, the spoons are from the MGM, uh, the Dunes, the Hacienda, the, the MGM Landmark. The MGM is still there, the MGM Not Grand? the original one. Oh, the, uh, the, the original one, it switched to Bally's, which is Bally's now, but the original one had a big fire. And then the Marina okay. Hotel became MGM. All right. You have a friendship with him, right? Yeah, we've been friends over 20 years, you know, and we work on the strip together and stuff like that, yeah. you know, and uh, and now I, uh, you know. You're in the right that he should not have done that to your property without your permission. I can't be held responsible for all 14 spoons in the Mickey okay. Mouse fork that he says that I bet. It's 13, 13. I'm not giving you $5,000 on those 13 spoons because I think they're of equal value but I'll give you $1,300. So I find $100 each spoon. I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $1,300. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, guys. $1,300 seems a lot for a bag of old spoons, in my opinion. It is a known fact that uh, whenever there is uh, a spoon bending uh, process that's going on, that sometimes other spoons end up somehow copycatting the uh, incident. So for instance, uh, when Uri Geller used to bend spoons on television, some people would report 
from having watched him on television that spoons in their own kitchen were bent. Um, so, uh, and in my show in, at Alexis Park in uh, Las Vegas, I would actually uh, bend spoons and people's spoons at their tables would bend as well. So, so things like that do happen, but I can't be accountable for 13 pieces of silverware. Here's the thing with history or anything old, it's all subjective. Um, it's all about supply and demand. So if there's something that people really want, uh, then there's uh, there's a big value in that. If it's not, then there isn't. Well, <laughs> how many people really collect spoons? Not many. And there are quite a few that do, but not enough to really give you a lot of money for them. So what Jerry suggested with $1,300 as my payout, I gotta be honest with you, I think he's right. Uh, he's also right because I got a great story and, uh, and I'm all about humor and having a good laugh. Because <laughs> when you look like this, you gotta be. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom, you have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.